Alright, let's check out Saitama. So one of my subscribers asked me to cover this coin, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Honestly, I had to spend so, so long just to find a chart that actually worked for Saitama. I mean, I found this one to start with, and you know, this is literally unchartable. And, you know, even if we come over to the daily, I don't know, it's just, it was pretty, it was messed up before. Uh, so we, we came over to this chart here. Uh, we also tried this chart, but this was on Rapdeef, so, um, and, you know, we also tried this one, I think this is the Poloniex chart, and, you know, this, I think this has only been out for, like, a couple of months on here, but, you know, th this is basically unchartable, I mean, <laughs> we've basically just had a huge dump and then just gone sideways, I mean, I could just put a horizontal ray through this and, you know, s say that, you know, for the next year, we'll probably just be on this line. So, I mean, I really don't know what's up with these other exchanges. Uh, TradingView only had, like, a good chart of the Rapdeef pair. So, yeah, so we're going to have to use this chart. Do bear in mind with me if I'm a bit slow on this, because, you know, none of the uh, trading indicators are really where I'm used to them being. Um, I will just add a few other things. There we go. So we've got the basics down. So uh, what I'm going to do to start with is just draw the Fib from the low to the high. Uh, I have seen a lot of hype coming out of this coin recently, um, specifically on Twitter. I see a lot of people talking about this coin, so I wanted to see what it's about and if it's actually moving. And you know, I, this I put, I put a fib, and damn, I mean, there's this is unchartable. I mean, from the high to the low, we're broken below the seven eight six, so this is not really looking good in my opinion. I can't even draw from here because we've just we keep on making. Um, keep on making new lows so let's see if we've got kind of like a linear trend that will define this honestly like i'm i'm really not too much of a big fan of this chart i i really don't think this chart looks good at all but you know that is just my own personal opinion i could be wrong and this could just you know explode at any minute that is why we are putting this trend line here because you can see that this coin is very pumpy and dumpy. Whenever it does have a big pump, it, it never comes and back tests. It just pumps until it falls off the table, and then it pumps until it falls off the table. So, what I'd be looking for is one of those moments where we would pump until we fall off the table. But right now, there is absolutely no volume coming in. I wonder if we have the MFI money flow index. We do. That is brilliant. Uh, if we can add the RSI as well. Alright, so nice. So the money flow indicator, money is flowing quickly out of this coin. Uh, previously, whenever money did flow out of this coin, we did come, you know, at least down to, uh, at least down to 11, which is, you know, so steep. Whenever this is, this coin is so euphoric. I mean, if we look at the money flow, it just goes bang all the way up, bang all the way to the bottom, bang all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. You know near the top and bottom top bottom so uh this this coin is just so so pumpy and dumpy in my opinion i would uh, I, I wouldn't be touching this coin but if we did have a move i'd probably say above the 786 then we would probably be you know d setting up for something like this now i don't even um I don't even necessarily have a price target to back that up on. I just know that, you know, if we did break above the 786, I probably would feel comfortable longing until, you know, at least just below the 618. In my opinion, I, I don't necessarily see what all the hype on this coin is about. This coin does like, look like absolute dog shit to me. Uh, obviously, this is a dog coin, so, you know, pretty... Uh, pretty hand in hand that it is a dog shit coin uh, but you know if we did break out to uh, this level here three six then you know i could see a huge pump all the way up to 82 percent but in my opinion you know this coin is just i mean look at this rsi my in minus five did it actually get to minuses or did it just come down to zero i've i've never seen an rsi go to zero i mean that is that is messed up. I mean, I think the worst rug that I've probably seen is ICP, uh, simply because ICP came from you know six hundred to you know twenty eight in a matter of how long? In a matter of like a month and a half, we fell an obnoxious amount, and the RSI was sitting around here seventeen. But just let that sink in, the RSI was at zero. And then 100? I mean, I don't even know if this is just broken.
because there's there's really not too much price action moving on here. This is kind of like a crummy website, Dex Tools. It says it's using the uh, the Trading View chart, but whenever I try and click on um, on Trading View, it just takes me here and I can't do anything about it. So um, I'm not personally a fan of this coin. I think I've I've made that quite clear from uh, what I've seen so far. In my opinion, if I was investing in dog coins, I'd probably go for those on Mars. They are both shit coins, but you know, at least those on Mars has you know a, a lower market cap. Um, or at least I, I think it has a lower market cap. Uh, I think this has two different market caps. Um, the market cap is unconfirmed on coin gecko so if we find out what we've got uh the market cap i oh, know this this was the coin gecko one so I, I don't think there is any data on the market cap here market data market where is the market cap? okay here we go uh so market cap is just under a million if we find out what the dozlon mars is Here we go. So if we type in Elon, those long Mars. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's literally like half the market cap. This is 420 million, uh, thousand, sorry. And where has it gone? It's just disappeared. I swear it was literally just here. Uh, but yeah, this was like nine, 900,000. Um, we lost it. And the fully diluted on this is, you know, like 700,000. So uh, even, even though the fully diluted is quite a bit higher compared to the fully diluted on here, it is literally like 1 million. Is this 1,764,000? 1, 1, or is this, what, okay, 780. So yeah, I, I think this is 1 billion. I'm not really sure because it's, it's got like a weird decimal, but... Uh, the point is, the market cap of those Lamars is a lot smaller than uh, Saitama, and in my opinion, you know, until, while we are below the 786 here, this coin really doesn't look good to me. I, I could very much see us putting in new lows if we don't quickly break above here, but you know, in my, in my opinion, buying here is not worth the risk-adjusted return, simply because... I mean, I, I couldn't find anywhere that you could really buy this coin apart from like Uniswap and uh, Poloniex. Apart from that, it is just a bunch of random decentralized exchanges that I guarantee you like 99% of my viewers uh, who are probably used to, you know, Binance, Crypto.com, Coinbase have never heard in their life. So uh, in my opinion, I would personally have, um, you know, multiple other dog coins that I would prefer to buy over this. But, you know, do bear in mind the money flow indicator is heading down. Let's discount this, you know, mangled up RSI because I think I'm just going to put that down to a glitch. But, you know, the data down here is so, so flat that I can, I can really barely tell. It doesn't look like it moved at all. I don't know why the RSI or the MFI, yeah, the MFI just looks glitched. So uh, if we just focus on getting above the 786, until we do get above the 786, I would not be, you know, getting out of bed for this coin. You can see that previously, I mean, we spiked above 786 and, you know, harshly fell down. So if I was making a long on this coin, I would put in my long just here at the 358 where the 786 is. If we did break out of here, I would probably wait until we go 10, 20% up, and then I would set my stop loss at, you know, a 5% profit just to avoid uh, liquidation fees. Because, you know, this coin has gone up so fast before, like boom, and then you've, you know, we've just come right back down. So if we do take a price chart, because I'm sure this is a, uh, I mean, these these look like tiny, tiny moves, but you know, this was a hundred and twenty-one percent pump. So this this coin just moves absolutely mad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if you were to buy a tiny bit, if we did break out of here, you could see you know potentially like a nineteen, twenty percent gain. But you know, personally, I, I'm not going to be touching this coin. And to be fair, I, I don't necessarily see myself making another <laughs> another video on this unless. Um, unless we do break above the 786. So that's really all I see for Sayatama. Uh, do bear in mind, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.